Moin and welcome to this uh, Naya episode. And uh, today you will learn how to tell the time in Luxembourgish. Now to tell the time in Luxembourgish requires you knowing three basic ingredients. First you will need to know the numbers from 1 to 12, then the words for two and after, and the fractions quarter and half. Okay, so but before we start with today's episode, let us go through the numbers from 1 to 12, just to be sure that you master those numbers. Okay, so how would you say 1? Yes, this is 1, 2 is 2, and then we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Good. Now, let's get started um, by asking someone what time is it. Basto Prat, are you ready? Dann lass. So, what time is it is in Luxembourgish. We feel awa as it. Let me repeat. We feel awa as it. Or more natural, we feel awa as it. Hmm? So we feel literally means how much or how many. And awa means time or clock. Okay, but that's the way we ask um, what time is it. We feel awa as it. To ask more politely, you could say, and chillest. We feel our asset. And chillest. We feel our asset. And chillest means excuse me. And um, pronounce it and chillest with the T at the end because this is the formal form to ask the, the, the clock to someone you don't know. Okay, so and chillest. We feel our asset. Or you can also say, We feel our asset. Vanish glift. We feel our asset. Vanish glift. So vanish glift means please. Another phrase you might hear to ask um, the time is We spät as it? We spät as it? This is literally how late is it? We spät as it? And to answer that question, you can say It as drei hour. It as drei hour. It is three o'clock. Or if you like to say that it's six o'clock, how would you say this? Yes, this is at us sex hour. At us sex hour. To say it is 10 minutes past 7, for example, you will say at us 10 up 7. Literally, this is it is 10 past 7. 10 past 7, 10 up 7. So the same as in English. You start with the minutes, then you add past, which is up, and then you say the clock. Then let's repeat ten. It is ten past seven. At us ten up seven. And here we don't add hour. So you just say at us drei hour, at us vier hour, at us fünf hour when it's the, the full time. Okay, but not when it's a ten past or quarter past or twenty past, for example. Okay. Now let's learn how to say that it is a quarter past. So to say a quarter past is in Luxembourgish feierl op. Feierl op. Let's repeat together so to practice your pronunciation. Feierl op. Okay. So how would you say it is a quarter past seven? Or it is quarter past seven. Yes, this is at us feierl op. Sieven. Hmm? Das feierl op sieven. I think now it's the time to give you some hints to understand more natural spoken Luxembourgish. So here we have seen now to say it is at us. At us are two words, but when spoken they are pronounced as one. And you will hear native speakers saying das. Das. Okay, so let's practice. How would you say it's uh, five o'clock? This is das fünf hour. Huh? Das fünf hour. And the same is true for feierl op. 
So native speaker would not say it as feral op sieven, they would say das feral op sieven. So feral op sounds also like one word, feral op. Let's practice. Feral op, feral op. Let's repeat the whole um, time. So it is a quarter past seven. Das feral op sieven. Easy, isn't it? So. The feral is quarter, and uh, so we have seen the quarter past feral up, and quarter two is feral vier. Feral vier, quarter two. So how would you say it's a quarter to seven? Hopefully you've said, it as feral vier sieven. And more natural, das feral vier sieven. Das feral vier sieven. Good. Now, to say it is half past seven is a little bit different in Luxembourgish. The word for half is halva. Halva. Let's repeat. Halva. But we say it is half to the next hour in Luxembourgish. So to say it is half past seven, you would say it as halva acht. At us, halva acht. It is half past seven. Okay, so because we think uh, this is half of the next um, hour which will come. And more natural, das halva acht. Das halva acht. You will have noticed that uh, we only say hour when it is the full time. For example, it's six o'clock at us, sex hour. But if you want to say it is quarter past six, you would simply say it is feral op sex and not uh, feral op sex hour. That doesn't sound very natural. Okay. Let us now look at the tricky grammar point when saying the time in Luxembourgish. You may know that the numbers one, so in, and two, zwei, um, and they change their form when followed by a noun. So the form they take depends on the gender of the noun that follows. Let me illustrate this with an example. So we say e jung, e jung, but eng durchter. And then we say zwei jungen, but zwei durchteren. Why? Well, e jung, this is a masculine noun, and uh, to say a daughter, so this is ein Durchter, this is a feminine noun. And to say one or a for feminine nouns, we use ein, okay? Ein Durchter, e jung. And for zwei, we have the same rule, that therefore we say zwei jungen, because it's masculine, and then we have a feminine form for two, which is zwei. Zwei, look, a schon zwei durchsteren. If you want to say, I have two daughters, a schon zwei durchsteren. And I can reassure you that um, only for the numbers um, in, eng, zwei, zwei, where we have a feminine form for uh, the numbers. Okay, as of three, it's always uh, drei, drei jungen, drei durchsteren. Okay, now, knowing that aua is a feminine noun, how would you say? It's one o'clock. Hopefully you've said das ein hour. Das ein hour. And how would you say it's two o'clock? Yes, easy. Das zwei hour. Das zwei hour. And now, how would you say it's half past one? Yes, this is das halver zwei. Das halva zwo. Have you got it? Yes? Okay, good. Let's continue. Imagine that you would like to ask someone at what time is. For example, at what time is uh, the lunch break? Then you would say, um, wei viel hour as tmetes pause. So, at what time is, is in Luxembourgish, um, wei viel hour as. Um we viel hour as. Um we viel hour as tmetes pause. Um we viel hour as the film houten oven, for example. Yes? Great. So in answer to your questions, the other person may answer uh, tmetes pause as um zwille hour, or just shortly um zwille hour. Um zwille hour at 12 o'clock. Yes? 
Great. Now, with this knowledge under your belt, you are ready to start mastering the nuances of Luxembourgish. So practice a little bit and don't be afraid to dive deeper into the language with us. And trust us, when you know the basics such as telling the time, uh, dealing with everything else won't be too hard. So start your Luxembourgish learning today and master in just eight weeks the basics of the language with our self-study online course A1 Foundation. You will find the link in the show notes below. But stay with me because I have a translation exercise for you. So I have here three sentences which I would like you to translate from English into Luxembourgish just to test if you have well understood today's episode. So that's it. Sentence one. How would you say I go home at half past one p.m. Huh? Half past one p.m. So I go home is ösch gin heim. At half past one is um halva zwo. Okay. And in better Luxembourgish we would say ösch gin um halva zwo heim. Because here we have the verb heim goen, which is a separable verb, and then the particle heim will come at the end. Ösch gin um halva zwo heim. Satz 2, sentence 2. At what time does the movie start? So, hopefully you have said for at what time is um we viel hour. And does the movie start is fängt the film un. Um we viel hour fängt the film un. To start is in Luxembourgish ufhänken. Yeah. And this is also a separable verb, therefore we put the un at the end. Satz 3, sentence 3. I take the bus at half past 11. A schwollende bus um halva zwierlöf. I will add on another sentence. Satz feier, sentence 4. I have lunch at a quarter past two. So I have lunch at a quarter past two is Ösch essen um feierlob zwo zu mittag. Ösch essen um feierlob zwo zu mittag. Great, well done. So don't hesitate to listen again to this podcast so to master the um, time in, to tell the time in Luxembourgish, but also to understand native speaker when they speak. Merci fit no laustren. Thank you for listening. And bis next week. Adi.